You've probably heard a lot about paperwork problems with the VA and veterans battling the government for the compensation they deserve. Tonight, a local soldier reveals what happened to him for more than 10 years. 10 years! Investigative reporter Angie Rocono has his story. This is Steve Fisher. He's a veteran who began his fight for benefits back in 2007, which means his paperwork battle lasted longer than the war he served in. I heard a big boom, uh, lots of smoke, uh, high pitch ringing sound, and then after that, uh, everybody was rushing around the truck uh, to try and get us out of there. Fisher served three tours in Iraq and survived three roadside bombs. This one was the worst. And it separated the entire truck in half. Uh, luckily, everybody did survive, um, but we were all knocked unconscious and uh, medevac to, to uh, Fallujah Surgical. Fisher says life changed after that blast. So he applied for benefits when he finished his tours. He suffers from PTSD, traumatic brain injury, hearing and vision loss, and nerve damage, especially in his back. The VA approves some, but not all of his claims. He's been in appeals since 2009. So this has all been going on since then. Here it is, 2018. Here's the timeline. Fisher first applied in 2007. It took two years for the VA to approve some claims. That kicked off a long appeals process as Fisher's file bounced from Washington, D.C. back to the regional level twice. As time passed, medical records became outdated. So I had to go to all those exams again, do everything over again. Fisher describes a frustrating, bureaucratic, never-ending process. Every time I see a new letter from the VA, it's just I get a, a, a sinking feeling. Uh, my heart drops, and then once I open the letter, you know, it just, every time I've opened it, it just hasn't been uh, a positive outcome at all. It's been a, uh, it's just been a nightmare. Over in Vietnam. He's not alone. Many veterans across the nation report similar problems. Last year, we reported on Phil Nash. He's battling cancer and the VA for benefits. We have to fight the compensation to get what we're, we're entitled to. Here are pictures from his service. In these photos, you can actually see planes spraying Agent Orange. The VA originally approved his disability benefits because his cancer was directly connected to Agent Orange exposure. Phil had surgery and was considered cured, so the benefits stopped. Prostate cancer came back. The benefits did not. Since then, cancer has spread. Nash's case is on appeal. It has taken years. It's still not resolved. He's losing hope. They say that they're backed up six years of, of claims, and, and, you know, I'll probably be dead in, in, in a year and a half because they, they've given me, they give me from six months to a year to, make, to do my life that's left. Um, I have several friends who have given up, and um, these are friends that have been in, in heavy combat. They're missing limbs, they're missing organs from mortar attacks, um, and they're still having these same issues, uh, basically, uh, that I'm having. It's these frustrating stories of men waiting years, even a decade for benefits, that finally prompted change. The Rapid Appeals Modernization Program, or RAMP, was launched about a year ago. It promises timely decisions. It will be fully implemented next year. Fisher was part of a select group able to test it early. I still think I'm dreaming. Yeah, I still think I'm dreaming. Victory in his battle was a quiet ping, an email alerting him all of his claims were finally approved. I'm just glad that it's over, but it, it still hasn't hit me yet. You know, I, I still, it's, it's still really new to me, but it, it definitely when I wake up in the morning, I have a smile now, so, which is great. Other veterans we spoke with remain concerned about the new rapid appeals process, that all they will get is a quick no. Only time will tell how well the new process works and how much time it will take to solve the tremendous backlog. We will keep you posted on Phil's case. Angie Ricono, KCTV 5 News.